I have some gold, folks. So, Dan Dankula did a video here just uh, recently. I just got through watching, actually. And it's about the decline of freedom uh, globally over the last year or two. And I'm actually glad that more people are speaking up about this. Um, fact of the matter is, this is pretty obvious. I mean, regardless of what those index say, um, which they do say we had a steep decline in global freedom over the last year or two. Uh, I also don't really think those indexes are the best measure of freedom, generally speaking. Uh, oftentimes they include um, criteria they shouldn't and exclude criteria they should. Um, this is why these global indexes are deeply flawed in my book and can mislead people slightly. Um, but it doesn't take an index to figure out that we've lost freedom globally, um, unfortunately. Uh, I think that's pretty clear. And other things that Count Dankler had mentioned in this video, uh, one, democracy does not equal freedom. And that is very true. A lot of people are under this misconception that democracy equals freedom. That's not exactly true. Um, democracy can be a government that has a very free state, you know, where the general population has a lot of freedom. But that's dependent on the general population valuing freedom. And inverse could be true with a monarchy. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that a monarchy can be a very free state uh, if the monarch values freedom um, or if the monarch just doesn't care enough to enforce the power they have. Um, so with this being said, um, usually the best form of government to go for if you want freedom is a good stable republic that is actually created with freedom in mind. Um, don't get me wrong, you can have some very authoritarian republics. Just usually when you have a good rule of law, that, uh, that does tend to create the most free societies in my book, um, so long as they were created with individual freedom in mind. Uh, so with that being said, the other thing that Count Dankula had pointed out, and this is also very true. Most government officials, their interest is only one thing, uh, gaining power and wielding power. And while there are some people that know this, on the other hand, they don't act as if they know it in many cases. Um, and this is unfortunate. Um, I'll never understand how somebody can sit there and acknowledge that, um, yes, these government officials are interested in their own power and wielding power. But then on the other hand, say, well, yeah, we need them to do this. Uh, we need them to have this additional power. We need to ignore some of the checks and balances that they want us to ignore for them. Um, we want to give up some freedom that, you know, we didn't have to give up before. Now they want us to give it up in exchange for whatever um, they might be promising. And as we've seen um, here recently, more than enough people are willing and even eager to throw away freedom for the false promise of safety. And some of them, I don't even think it's safety. Some of them, I, I think it's more social approval than anything else. And while those two are, I think, the biggest motivating factors in this particular issue, uh, you know, the reason why we've lost so much freedom globally, uh, I think there are other factors that involved as well. Um, you know, one of my more left-leaning friends has pointed out the moral busybody said, that is true. You have people who think they're doing the right thing by imposing their morals on others. 
Um, you have people who are generally just miserable people themselves, and they think that they're going to make themselves happier by making other people miserable when, in fact, they're not. Um, you have some absolute control freaks, even though this portion of the population doesn't actually have any power for themselves. Um, it doesn't do them any good that this particular freedom has been taken away. They absolutely, uh, think that, uh, they're getting one over on the people who do value the freedom that they've lost losing that freedom. And that's unfortunate. Um, really is, but uh, these people are very sick individuals. Um, you have some very sick weirdos out there, to be honest with you. Now, do I think all is lost? Um, I'm going to say no, I don't. I mean, if I thought all is lost, I wouldn't be here uh, doing YouTube videos. I wouldn't be here doing YouTube videos defending a freedom I very much so value. Um, I would be taking another strategy um, if I thought all was lost. But um, with that being said, I think it is possible uh, that we can turn the tides and I think it's possible that we can regain freedom that is lost. What it is going to take is effort. Um, it's going to take everyone pulling together. Well, maybe not everybody, but at least enough people pulling together and pushing back on this. And I think, you know, it would be nice if those of us who value freedom around the world could actually come together and do this. So, Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all take it easy out there and have a great day.